Hi, I'm going to show you how uh, the menu items of uh, Padre work one by one. This time I'm showing the file menu, uh, actually the, mo uh, the important uh, parts of the file menu. So when you open Padre you get that this unsaved file here that you can start typing in. For example I just type in 0 0.84 to remind you that this is now showing Padre version 0 0.84 on running on Windows. Uh, the same would happen, the same would work uh, on Linux with the same version of Padre, but uh, you might have a different version. So there the menu items might be slightly different or behave slightly different. Uh, we'll post uh, newer versions of the screencast later on. So if you go to the file menu, then there the first item is new, which is just uh, the standard new uh, menu item. It uh, creates you a new empty um, buffer where you can type in your code. And then there is another menu item called new with some submenus where if you click on the first one Perl 5 script would create you a new editor with uh, uh, some skeleton content in it where the new statements are the, the skeleton uh, statements that you probably want to use for your Perl code uh, except that this line uh, requires Perl 5.6 uh, and you would probably want to have a higher version number so you would probably require 5.10 or even newer version of uh, Perl. New menu items have also Perl 5 module. In this case, it provides you a pop-up window that remembers the last uh, one uh, you typed in. Here you type in the name of the uh, module, so for example, module name, and then clicking OK, it will create an editor window uh, with a skeleton uh, module in there package, the module name, and then the use statements, some documentation, and even a constructor and a simple uh, method in it. Now it would be probably nice if these uh, um, skeleton files could be uh, configured by the user. Unfortunately, as far as I know currently, these are hardcoded in Padre. So unless you actually change the files that were supplied by, Pad uh, by the installation of Padre, now currently it's hardcoded. You can also create a test file the same way and the Perl 6 script, which is because uh, Padre currently in this version doesn't have Perl 6 support, you don't see the syntax highlighting there. The last item I will skip over right now because in this version of Padre it doesn't work cor correctly. Open will create open you a standard file browser where you can pick one file and then open it and it will open the file and show you and let lets you edit. The other open menu uh, has several submenus. So the open URL would allow you to here to type in some kind of a URL. Let's say what you can see here. It will fetch the file and open the file in this editor. It will open it in read-only mode. So if you want to actually save the file, then you will have to do it with save as. Open selection. So let's go back here and for example in this module I have a use statement or just some kind of a name of a module. I can highlight the name of the module and then go to open selection or control shift O and it will look for that module in your file system within your at ink and file the module that implements that uh, the file find the file that implements that module and opens that for your editing. In case you have several copies of this, then you will have you will get uh, a menu where you can pick which one you would like to open. Open file in browser will open uh, just the standard browser file browser of your operating system. So that's in this case it's Windows. In uh, Linux it's probably Nautilus or some other kind of uh, file browser, and it will open in the directory where the current file is saved. Open with default system editor is currently not working, uh, at least not on this my, my system. Open in command line will open a command uh, window, it's a CMD window on Windows, uh, in the place where the, the current file is. So you can type in dir and then you can see uh, the files. The same works on Linux opening a shell a terminal window. Open example here, the last one. Open example is again just a standard file opening dialog 
but in a directory that was supplied by Padre, where you can see a couple of example scripts. So here are some examples for beginners, and here are a couple of examples that are using WX widget to create various windows. Close would just close this file. If the file was changed, then it would ask first uh, whether you want to save it. And then there is this other close menu which has several entries. So you have close this project or close other projects. That's for projects. Uh, we don't, I don't deal with that now. Close all files. That would close all the files currently open. Or call other clo close all other files that would close all the files except the one that I'm currently editing. And close files will allow you to pick which ones you would like to close now in our case because that file was already changed I'm just telling do you want to save it no I don't want to save it so it closed that file now that's uh, what does reload uh, when you're editing a file and then uh, outside of Padre you call let's say SVN update or for, for with uh, git you fetch the new versions of files so the files get out of sync there is a newer version of uh, the file on the file system this will al padre will automatically recognize this but you might cancel that operation due to whatever reason so for with this you can tell padre to reload the file uh, getting rid of the current version that you have in the editor um, and you can tell it whether you want to reload one single file or all of the files or just some of them with some of them you will pick uh, here which ones you would like to reload now uh, in this case we have three f three editor windows open that are not uh, related to files yet save that's just or normally saving the file save as would allow you to pick a different name for the uh, file and save it that way save intuition so that's what i'm going to take a look at it later on when i'm talking about project save all will save all the files now sessions open session and save save session basically a session is just a set of files uh, in in padre so you would edit uh, three or four files for one project pro probably and then another three or four files for another project and we call these uh, these sessions because they don't necessarily belong those files don't necessarily belong to one single project entity in the sense of a pro project so for example let's close all these uh, old, uh, the old other files let's see so if I go come here and I say close all other files and then it will ask me for each one of them that I want to save it but I don't want to save them so here is one file and I would like to save this session currently which has uh, only one file in it so I save the session and I save it like the, I call it example I could type in some description here but that's not that important and I save that session now if I f close the file and then I go to the file menu and click on open session it will list all of my sessions so currently I have two sessions in this editor and I pick the example uh, session and I click on open now here there is a ch uh, checkbox uh, probably you want to check that checkbox the, what it does is when you are uh, opening more files in your current session uh, you it will open automatically remember those files so next time you open them uh, open the session those files will be open as well so I open this example session and I got that specific file now if I open another, another file yeah, let's say this file I open and uh, I close them I close all the files now or instead of that I open a session a different session let's say I open the Devimer section then this will close all the other files all the files that didn't belong to that session and open the files that were in the Devimer session and I can open session again and I'll go to the example and now it remembered both of the files in that session. Print, uh, I'm not sure if it works or not, uh, but I don't think that is cu currently that important. Uh, recent files, it just lists you the files that ha you have opened recently. Uh, and this will just remove the from the list or 
uh, remove all the entries from the list or open all of them. Finally, document statistics will provide you some information about your, your current document. So that's it about the file menu and the next uh, time I'll show about the edit menu. Thank you for listening.